Oh yes, it is Easter weekend, and Mother Beezus has risen once again to grace us with Act 2. Follow up to Renaissance. Let's get our cowboy hats on, because we're going to react to Cowboy Carter! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> well, howdy, everybody! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Reese Spectrum. I'm a colourful guy from Glasgow, and you're tuning into the latest installment of my reaction series, Reese Reacts, where in this episode, we're going to be reacting to Beyonce's new album, Cowboy Carter. <laughs> the sequel to Renaissance. I actually have reacted to that video last year. You can check it out here. I will put the link in here. Thank you to anyone who viewed my reaction to Beyonce Renaissance. I really appreciate it. And hopefully you'll have tuned into this one too, because we're in for a treat. You are in for a treat. So before we crack on, as always, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, share, subscribe. Are you loving this album? What are your favorite tracks? Please let me know. I want to know what the Beehive are thinking. And if you want to see more from me, please feel free to follow my social media links down below in the description box. I appreciate all the love and support. With that, if you want to get your cowboy hats on and ride on that saddle and stream Cowboy Carter and react to it with me, then keep on watching. Woo! Oh, already I am regretting wearing a leather jacket indoors. I'm literally sweating the house down boots. But, speaking of boots, I've got rhinestone cowboy boots to match! Ah! Like a rhinestone cowboy boots! Oh, the only time you'll ever see me wear a flat. Put that way. But anyway. <laughs> right, I've got my cowboy gear on. We are ready to stream and react to Cowboy Carter. Let's kick it off. First track out of 27, by the way. 27 tracks. So we're being fed this year. So, track number one out of 27. This is American Requiem. Okay. Pretty. Right, she's eating it into it. Oh, right. What's she giving this? Do you hear me? Yeah, we do hear you. Yes. Come on, B. Come on. Can you hear me? I feel you. I feel you, Queen. Oh. Oh, the voice is on uh, point as always. I love that already Beyonce is just breaking the mold with this album. Okay. Oh my god, I like that bit like, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. She, she get, she's getting into it, she's getting into it, yeah. It's like, it's a build up. It's, it's basically building up to like getting you into the vibe of what Cowboy Carter is. Just the layers of voices, it's just. It's like she's taking us to church. Oh, Jesus is a biscuit. Ah, Jesus is a biscuit. All right. I quite like that. I quite like that. So that was track number one, the intro to Cowboy Carter. That is American Requiem. That was five minutes and twenty-five minutes long. But I think that's I think that's like, like definitely a great sort of introduction into what the album is going to give, and obviously. Beyonce's voice voice is booming as always, and like the layers of harmonies and everything. It's as if it's as if she's she was taking it to church there for a moment. It was, yeah, I I enjoyed that. Right next up is track number two, and this is a cover version of one of the songs from the Beatles. Um, and also I've noticed like a lot of the song titles have the I I because this is Act Two. Like a lot of the titles have like two eyes instead of one. And this is like American Requiem had two eyes and American, and the song has two eyes in it instead of one. This is the cover of the Beatles song Blackbird. I love that like Beyonce has given us like cover versions as well. Like we we rarely ever see Beyonce do cover versions of songs. Like she she has sampled a song, few songs in the past. Like in Summer Renaissance, she sampled I Feel Love by Donna Summer, and she sampled a few other songs in her career. But like she rarely ever does cover versions. This sounds really good. This sounds really cute. This sounds so sweet already. I can tell. It just sounds so sweet. It's two minutes and eleven. It's like it's a lot shorter than American Requiem, but like it's still it sounds it sounds really sweet and like I wonder what Paul McCartney would think. Like um, Paul McCartney's pretty much like 
Him and Ringo are the only two living Beatles members, I, I believe. Obviously, like, um, every Beatles song was written, pretty much written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Okay. So that was track number two. That was a cover of the song Blackbird by the Beatles. And there's there's um, some credits here from Tanner Adele, Britney Spencer, Tieta Kennedy, and Raina Roberts. I think if John Lennon were still alive today, I'm pretty sure he would definitely approve of this. Like, it was such a sweet little... I've not heard the original version of Blackbird, but like, Beyonce's version of it, really sweet, really, like, really soft and gentle and really... I think it was it was nice to like after the the power of Re American Requiem it just like Blackbird sort of like a little breather sort of calm you down but yeah really cute up next number uh, chart number three is sixteen carriages we know it we love it sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away let's go to track number four and this features Rumi Carter this is Protector oh. Oh sh! I completely realized. Nice. Rumi is one of her kids. Boo! Oh my god! Rumi's one of her kids. It's one of her twins. Oh my god! How did that not even click? That literally just did not click on. As soon as I heard the baby voice, it's like it's one of her kids. It's one of her. It's her daughter. Oh my god! So yeah, this is the second time that like she's had one of her kids in a song. Like obviously, she did a song for Blue when Blue was born in the album Beyonce and Blue Ivy featured it and she was credited in it and she like, at the end you see her, you heard her talking Oh my god, is this a song dedicated to her kids? I love it when Beyonce gets personal and opens her heart to us like, for years, like, she ne she rarely ever got personal and like, rarely ever got, like, opened her about her life to us and now that she, we're seeing the human side of Beyonce I just love, like, when she shows her vulnerability and shows her rawness and shows her, like, human, how human she is I love this. This is so sweet. It's so cute. Oh, I love this. She's singing to her kids, like, I'll be your protector. This is getting me so emotional hearing this, like... That is so freaking cute, honestly. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Y'all caught that on camera, right? At the start, like, you noticed how dumb I was. <laughs> My apologies. But yeah, like, I, it literally took me a, a while to click on that Rumi Carter is her youngest daughter. Like, she has three kids. Obviously, because we know Blue Ivy. She did a song about Blue in, um, the album, in her self-titled album. Um, and it was a closing song, and Blue featured in it. She was credited in it. And she, like, which was just a baby. And... Now she's done a song dedicated to her her twins, Sarah and Rumi, and Rumi's cre credited in this. And she was at the start of the voice. And as soon as I heard the baby voice, I was like, "And it's Carter, duh, Cowboy Carter, Beyonce and Jay Z's surname." I'm like, "Jesus, dumb blonde." Sorry about it. God, Karen, you are so stupid. Yeah, that was track number four, Protector, featuring Beyonce's youngest daughter, Rumi. So fucking cute, so beautiful. I love that. Like, I love when Beyonce shows her her human side and her, her she opens up to us about being a mother and being a protector to her kids and like showing that showing her human side like we just see her for the glitz and the glam and the fame and the success and the sickening like the, the you know the music and stuff like that and like but seeing her that she's a regular human being like the rest of us you know like we treat her like she's a god because she is god is amongst men a G -O -D -D -E -S. I always love when she makes such personal emotional songs about her life and those who like things that matter to her. Moving on, the next two songs are under a minute long, so we're just gonna listen to them back to back. So track number five is the first of two uh, interludes. This is My Rose. Okay. It does I, I, I like this. It's a nice little sort of like Oh, I love that. That sounds really cute as well. That sounds cute. I like it. And then we're moving on to track number seven, another interlude, Smoke Hour, Willie Nelson. Featuring Willie Nelson. Oh, so she, this is a hard one. She's changing the channel on the video. Oh, 
Late in a cigarette? Welcome to the smoke tower on KNTRY Radio, Texas. There's Willie Nelson. Legend. Go find yourself a jukebox. So yeah, that was the um, that was back to back two little interludes. That was My Rose and Smoke Hour with Willie Nelson. And next track number seven, we know Texas Hold'em, we love it. It's a UK number one single. We all live for it. This ain't Texas, ain't no Hold'em. Now we're on track number eight already. This is Bodyguard. Okay, we get into it. Okay, I'm letting the beat already. The beat. It's kind of beat you want to tap your heels to. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm getting it. I'm getting into it. Yeah, I'm liking it. John Wayne. Ah. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving pilgrims. Okay, I really like this song. It's another good song. All right, I do like that song. I was I was trying to eight as bodyguard. It's like a definitely funky little beat to it. I like I like that. Right, moving on. Track number nine is another little interlude before one we're going to be talking about soon. Um, this is a tribute to Dolly P, Dolly Parton. Little... We have a national treasure. Dolly Parton is here. Well, hey there, sugar. Oh my god. Ah, I love it. <laughs> So this is the intro to Beyonce's cover of Jolene by Dolly Parton. And I love that she referenced Becky with the good hair. Like, when she referenced the lemonade. Yeah. Oh, she's changed the lyrics. She's changed the lyrics to suit her. I love it. She's like, she's not begging her, she's telling her, she's warning her, do not do it. Oh my god, is she, is she still calling out for Becky with the good hair? I'm loving this. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. You are a queen bee. Creole banji bitch, I love it. So it's like, it's, it's a cover version, but it's like she's changed some of the lyrics to like, modernize it and make it more of her own. Oh my god. Uh, baby, Beyonce fucking ace that cover, I live. And yep, Queen Dolly approves of Queen Bee's cover of uh, Jolene. She put her on uh, uh, social media, I will put this here, what she said. Um, but yeah, Dolly P approves of Honeybee's cover of Jolene, and she changed the lyrics to mo like modernize it to make it more of her own. Mm -hmm, honeybee. And instead of like begging Jolene to take her, she's she's warning her. Girl, countless years, and Jolene is still getting fucking strung up for that. So, <laughs> you're a bitch, Jolene. You're a bitch. B I C T H. Moving on, we are at track number eleven. This is Daughter. Hmm. Oh, this is Bert. I heard a little sneak preview of, like, of something, but like, of her singing opera. Oh, sing it, Beyonce. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh my god. That was so haunting, but so beautiful, and like, I just... So yeah, that was track number 11, that was the song Daughter. Such a hauntingly beautiful song. And I just love, like, I love the fact that she gave us a, like, a very operatic tone to her voice there in the middle. Like, she's really showing her range. Like, there's nothing that Beyonce can't sing, honestly. She's really showing her range, and I'm, I'm loving it. Right, track number 12 is one that um, many fans have been talking about, many fans have been living for. Um, featuring Linda Martell and Shabuzi, this is Spaghetti. What are we getting? What are we getting here? Oh my god, are we getting a, are we getting a bouncy track? Oh, bitch! Oh! Spaghetti is a vibe! Ah! But, oh! Oh my god! Spaghetti is a vibe! She is that girl! Wow, I'm... I love this one. I love this. I love this. I love this. I was living, I was living for that, like, I wish that were longer. Oh my god. Okay, Spaghetti may be one of my favourite songs from the album, I'm gonna say that right now. Like, 12 songs in, Spaghetti is that girl, she literally just 
grab you by the cojones and was yeah like oh i meant, I, meant, I was into that Ugh. so yeah spaghetti chapter 12 one of my faves so far right moving on to chapter 13 this is alligator tears okay i'm liking it this sounds good already i'm pretty sure it's safe to say like She's not taking any prisoners in this album. I do like this. This is the vibe. So that was track number 13, Alligator Tears. Another good, like, that's another good song. I quite like that. It's like, kind of like the, kind of like the, the beat of it as well. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get into that. All right, we are halfway through the album already. Next up, we have Smoke Hour 2 with Willie Nelson, and this is only 30 seconds long. So we're just going to, Listen to this back to back with the song after it, which is Trader 15, just for fun with Willie Jones. So, right here we go. Smoke Hour 2 with Willie Nelson. So he's just to change the channel again. Alright, just for fun. Trader 15 with Willie Jones. Okay. I rarely hear Beyonce singing like this low, sort of, like. This low tone. I'm into it. Alright. This, this, this sounds good as well. I like it. This is good. This is a good song. There's just, there's, just so much, there's so much like emotion in this album. So much rawness and emotion. I love that. It's a lovely song. So that was back to back. Track number 14. Um, there's Smoke Hour 2, Willie Nelson doing an intro. Um, to Trevor 15, Just For Fun with Willie Jones. And yeah, moving on, we are at Trevor 16, and this is one I've heard as a, is a standout song. Miley Cyrus features on the album, and she is no stranger to doing country music, because obviously she's been doing it over the years. So this is Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, and Trevor 16. This is Two Most Wanted. I'm excited to see here the two of them together. The two of them are doing a back and forth, like exchanging lines. Oh my god. They sound so good together. Oh my god. Honestly, when Beyonce collaborates with other pop deep female pop divas, like she never misses. Like she it always just sounds so great. I love this song already. This is this is another one of my standouts. The harmonies. This song sounds so good. See these two ladies, like they are like they're formidable artists in the music industry and like you know, both Beyonce and Miley are in the stage right now where they could do no wrong and they sound so good together yes okay that is definitely one of my faves out of this album that is track number 16 two most wanted with Miley Cyrus the two of them said it's so beautiful together I mean I know like we were we a lot of many of us were hoping for another uh Beyonce and Gaga collab but, like you know us, we're still waiting for the like the sequel to the telephone video, but you know, in a way, we lost. We won, but we lost. And we won. I don't know. This could have been the sequel to that. But anyway, now we're on to track number seventeen, and this feature is Post Malone. This is Levi's jeans. Yeah, I'm liking this. Xenopho. Oh, this is another really sweet song. I quite, I quite like this. Yeah. So far, not a bad song. Not a bad song, once again. Oh, there's Post. Even Post Malone sounds a bit different than this. Like, I'm a fan of Post Malone. I listen to a lot of his music. Like, he sounds so different in this. Like, he, he actually suits country. Denim on, denim on, denim on, denim on. I love that. Raven, your denim was den. Um. <laughs> Hug that ass all day long. I like that. <laughs> I like this. So another good song that was track number 17, Levi's Jeans featuring Post Malone. And yeah, I, even even Post Malone sounded like so different in this song. A lot of his, like, his music is very um, hip hop sort of R&B sort of vibes. But hearing him in this country vibe, it's so different for him. And he actually, it suits him so well. And yeah, I quite like that. It was a really cute song. It was really cute. Right, we're on to track number 18, and then we'll have 19 afterwards, because it's like, we're at two back-to-back -back songs, so 
Um, Flamenco is track number 18, which is 1 minute 40. And then we have Linda Martel Show featuring Linda Martel, which is track number 19. So let's put it back to back. I know they're like, um, I understand there are so many references to country for the, for, for the years, which forgive me if I, if I miss any uh, references. Uh, I will try and research as much as I can. I've seen many like references being shown on TikTok um, from people who have researched it. And like Beyonce has definitely done her homework. She is definitely like, she knows everything about the genre that she's singing in. So this is the Linda Martel show. Oh? Okay, so this is gonna take us to track number 20, which is another fan favorite. This is Yaya. Oh, is this? Oh my God, is this Zeppelin? This are made for walking Nancy Sinatra. Are you ready, boo? Start walking. I'm a clever girl. Ah! Yeah, this is sample in um, Boots I made for walking. Rodeo, Rodeo Chitlin Circuit. Yep. Hey, hey. Okay, yes. No, yes, yes. Come on. Yeah, just get me into it. B E Y O N C E. Yeah, she's booing it. Let these bitches know you are the queen girl. I love it. Okay, that's another standout already. Yaya is that girl, I'm sorry. Like, yes! Oh, oh this makes me want to get up and dance! Yes! Oh, she's giving into it. Oh, definitely this is one of the standouts. I'm taking it. Oh, is it Beach Boys? She's sampling Beach Boys. I'm taking that good vibration. Okay! She sampled, she sampled two songs in here. Bits of for Walking by Nancy Sinatra and then Beach Boys, Good Vibrations. I'm picking up good vibrations. Girl, I'm, I'm, I'm white, so I, want, I can't twerk. I'm whiter than white, so I have no rhythm. I just dance in my chair. I'll just, I'll just twerk my chair. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this, this makes me buck wild out. Work. <laughs> this needs to be a single, I'm sorry. Yaya needs to be a single. Ah! The raspiness in her voice. Like, her voice is so different here, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this makes me want to shake my ass, honestly. This is the song for it. Yeah! Oh my god, are we having that song on repeat? Ah! And then we're going into old Louisiana. Track number 21. Oh! <laughs> this album is taking me on a journey! Ah! Make me feel all types of things. Oh my god! I'm exhausted now after that. Ooh! All these hands like slowing us down into it, like easing us in. And now we're going into track number 22. This is Desert Eagle. Oh! 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 Okay! I love it, like, the whole album's like, every song is just transitioning to the next. Like, a lot of when albums do that, like, when they just, like, take on a like, long, continuous journey. And, like, there's no stops. I love the guitar on this, like, the... I like that. Alright, so... We're not stopping, we're, we're still going. Track number 23, this is River Dance. I'm like, at uh... Oh, another funky one. Are you doing that? Oh, I need a refill, I need a drink, it's like, it makes me want to drink and dance, like, but it's just like, I don't want to stop, I don't want to stop. I don't think I've been to an album in a long time, so, what I love is the fact is like, Beyonce is opening, like, she's bringing a whole new audience to this genre, who may not, obviously, like, me, like, country's not one of their, like, fave genres. There's some, some country songs I do like, but like, I've never really, I'm mostly one of those pop diva gays, like, what I thought the fact that, like, she is doing country and she's opening this, this genre to a whole new audience who may not listen to that genre and getting them into it. I like this song, River Dance, like, River Dance the B vibes, it's be like, it's be catchy song. I like the bit where she's like, like bounce on a shit dance. Whoever's playing the guitar is eating, is eating it. Bounce on the shit. I'm liking this. This is a, this is a funky song. I like it. It's a toe tap and low B. I like it. I'm literally just 
pat my feet and just dance into my chair. <laughs> hey, I'm still on the shit thing. Hey. This whole album is just... Oh, Beyonce, you fucking done it again. I'm just in awe of this woman. Okay. <laughs> I know it's like it could be continued, but I need a breather. I need a breather. I need a drink. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> Needed a breather after that. No, no, a sledge. Uh, she put the cunt in country. Put it that way. Right, we've got four more songs left on the album. I needed a drink. Need a refill. Because I'm into it. I'm into the mood. I'm into the vibe. I'm building this album. Another, another, another great album from Beyonce. Like, these, these past four or five albums that she's done, like, she has not put a foot wrong. Like, that woman can do no wrong. Like, every, she always hits the nail on the head every single time. And I mean, I'm so impressed, like, just, I'm in awe of this woman. I'm just in awe of her. Like, she always gets it so right. Just, love it. But anyway, I digress. Um, right, try number 24. This is Two Hands to Heaven. All right. This one is probably the longest song on the album. It's 5 minutes 41. But yeah, listen, the more, the more Beyonce, the better. Because, like, I know that many people, have, um, they do songs under three minutes to fit the TikTok rule, but, like, Beyonce is like, nah. Okay. It kind of sounds like she's building us up to, like, another, to, like, another, like, upbeat sort of song. I was gonna say, this might be better than Renaissance. Although, Renaissance is top tier. I probably will say they're, they're both as good as each other. Brilliant in their own unique ways. They're just as good as each other, I will say. Like, I, I wouldn't, I would never want to pet a Beyonce album over, like, because I think everything she does is just flawless. Flawless. <laughs> I do like this. I'm, like, I'm liking the song. She's just incredible. Isn't it wonderful to be alive the same time as this woman? And just celebrate her brilliance and her talent. Okay. Taking us to track number 25, and Dolly's back again! This is Titan. Oh my god! <laughs> Can we also take a moment to appreciate the queen, the icon, the legend, Dolly Parton? Like, she is the queen of country. It's like, this is like mixing both of Beyonce and Dolly's styles together, like, meeting in the middle, it's like a fusion and I'm loving it. Sexy, I know, is that a, is that a callback to when she samples Right Said Fred on uh, Elite Superstar? I like this as well. Yeah, this is another, this is another good song for me. I, I, one of my faves. All right, that was track number twenty five. That was Tyrant with Dolly Parton, and yeah, well, the fact that Dolly's back in it, and like another moment of appreciation for the queen of country, the icon, the legend, the diva, and gay rights activist and ally, Dolly Parton. Two gay icons. And it's on the other. Yeah. Period. <laughs> right, moving on. Try number 26. This is the second last song featuring Shabuzi. And this is one even Megan the Stallion, and I am another icon. Ah. Megan the Stallion was look looking forward to hearing this. Um, so this is Sweet Honey Buckin'. I feel like this is gonna be the this is the love honey of this album. Like she really did that with this album. She, I'm sorry, like... No, actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I think the Beehive will pretty much agree with me, right? Yeah, you watching? Please sign off in the comments down below. You agree with me, right? This album is fucking amazing, right? So that was the sweet part version, and this is the honey version, like, part. This is fucking... Culture. Mechanical Bill, ah! <laughs> yes, uh... Gallop, gallop. Like a mechanical bull. <laughs> Look at that horse. Hello. I'm Clip Clop. <laughs> I hear the fall card in the back. Riding the horse, riding the horse. And now we're going to the closer. Amen. This is the final track. Beyonce, thank you for this incredible album. And 
Congrats on your ongoing success. You deserve every bit of it. Like, she's had many naysayers since she started this era of Cowboy Car. She's had many naysayers of country artists saying, like, why is she doing this? Like, she doesn't belong in this genre. But she's like, eh, no, I do, actually. She, this is, this is definitely a mold-breaking album that she's made here. We will never stop giving Beyonce her tents. I'm sorry, yeah. Ah. Uh, Ready? And that is that. Wow, wow, wow. Girl, you have done it again. Constantly raising the bar for us all and doing it flawlessly. Honestly, I I have I don't I can't even have the right words to be like This album moved me. This really did. Like it's the same with it's the same that the Renaissance did, like it moved me. And it's like I love when an album like takes you on a journey and really broadens your horizons and just like Beyonce, I can't stop singing your praises. You are an incredible woman. Like you have done it again with this album. It's just wow. That's all I can say. It's just wow. I want to hear from you all of you watching this. If you made it this far, please comment down below. What are your favorite tracks in the album? Do you love it as a whole? But yeah, that's been another Reese Reacts, reacting to Cowboy Carter, Act 2 of like the sequel to Renaissance by Beyonce, Knowles Carter, the Queen Bee. And what did you all think of this reaction? I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I've been Reese Spectrum, this has been Reese Reacts. Please don't forget to give it through a thumbs up, comment down below, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep up to all my videos and reactions in the future. And if you want to follow my social media links down below, please feel free to. They're down in the description box. I appreciate all the love and support. And with that, I will hop on my saddle and ride on out of here. <laughs> Bye! Y'all come back now, you hear?